Welcome to the Seattle International Auto Show, where this year you'll see Volts, Cruises, Jukes, Leafs, and a lot more. So many cars, so little time. Let me tell you about the Nissan Leaf and the charging time. The Leaf requires a 240 volt charging station, so a depleted battery charges in about eight hours. Nissan also gives you a 120 volt charging cord. It takes about 20 hours to fully recharge a depleted battery. Now those charging stations that you'll see around town, there's one in South Center, you can charge a Leaf 80% at about 30 minutes. Not bad. Well, I guess what I, I think is that it's it's a great driving car, but it's uneventful, which is, and, and I mean that in a very positive way. It's, it's just like driving a regular car, except it's quiet, and you feel better about yourself because you're not polluting the earth. I need a hug from a polar bear, is what I need. It's great. Well, I stumbled across this little Mitsubishi that will be available in the States pretty soon. It's a really cute car. Gets about the same range as the uh, Leaf from Nissan. And I got to take a test drive in a right-handed version in downtown Seattle. Kind of freaky. Here, watch this. When, when is this car going oh, to be available? 2011. 2011. 2011, it comes to the U.S., so next November. Um, and then take the next right, not here. The next. And, you, and you'll expect to see a price tag of about $30,000. <laughs> and now, da 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 da, the car you've heard so much about the 2011 Chevy Volt. Makes 149 horsepower and uh, a lot of torque. This motor has a lot of muscle to let the Volt go from 0 to 60 in about 9 seconds. Top speed, 101 miles per hour. The price tag of, well, around $41,000, but again, it qualifies for the $7,500 federal income tax credit, and that drops the price to around 33,500 big ones. The interior is, well, I would say different. It kind of has an iPod feel to it. A lot of push buttons. Uh, the door panels are a little freaky looking. I think that's an option. Very nicely done. And uh, once again, I think this car looks much better in person. Speaking of cars looking better in person and even more expensive, let's take a little trip over to this new Mercedes. This is one of the most beautiful cars I've... Oops, vacuum cleaner guy. I got in before the show. One of the perks of being an auto guy. An absolutely beautiful car in person. Striking and so is the price tag, but let's not worry about that quite yet. Let's just take a look around. Okay, ready for sticker shock? <laughs> $205,925 and zero cents. But let's take another look around. Okay, one more time at the $205,925 and zero cents. Now for something a bit more economical and less expensive. It's the Mazda 2, finally in America. This will compete with the new Ford Fiesta that just was introduced by Ford well, a few months back. This car is a little more sporty to drive, not quite as uh, maybe hip as the Ford Fiesta, but fun nevertheless. And the interior is pretty sweet, too. Mazda does a nice job. Very sporty cars. The mileage is not quite as good as the Ford Fiesta. Ford Fiesta gets 40 on the highway. This Mazda gets uh, about, what, 35. Yeah, there you go, on the highway. The new Ford Explorer, the limited edition version. Another strikingly beautiful car. Kind of looks like a Land Rover to me, but uh, very nice from Ford. They are on a roll. I have to show you this new hybrid from Lexus. HS250H. Very nice car. The interior, I, I can't really get this on the video, but uh, it's like the center console is floating in midair. There you go. 
another gorgeous car. All right, a lot of controversy about the styling here. This is the Nissan Juke. And I have to say again, this car looks more uh, proportional, if that's a word, in person. It's about the size of a Mini. And the taillights look a little like a Volvo, which I'm going to show you here in just a second. The Volvo. I like this car. It, it's growing on me. And the interior again, very cool. Nissan, man, they've uh, really come a long way when it comes to interior. Oh, wait. Looky over there. The new Jaguar. XJ. Wow. This is the XJL. The extended version. I think it's gorgeous. 15 on the highway, 22 in the city, and a price tag of $82,700. Well, here we go. The 2011 Cruze from General Motors. This car is replacing the Cobalt. Finally. Really nice looking car. The interior size is comparable to a Chevy Malibu. And the interior is very, very sweet. Oh my. This is the Spider from Audi. Unbelievable. There was a big crowd gathered around this car when I came back later when they let everyone in. Just a mean looking machine. Audi R8 5.2. How much? Oh, we'll get to that in just a second. Complete LED headlamps. They look freaky cool. All right, here's the price tag. Gulp, $179,450, you can read. A bit more practical. This is the new Volvo S60 we waiting a long time for the replacement for the uh, 60. And it was well worth the wait. This is another really spectacular looking car. It looks like it's moving standing still. This is the turbo version. All wheel drive as well. The interior, man, fantastic. The aluminum bits, I think it's aluminum, stainless steel, whatever. Anyway, it looks really, really great. 